Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break today. Uh, one that I don't normally do, quite honestly. Uh, I will tell you guys straight up that we're going to do some Allen and Ginter if you haven't figured that out by the background cards. Primarily every year I uh, I buy you know a decent amount of, I guess, retail Allen and Ginter. I never really venture into the hobby boxes of Allen and Ginter. Um, but there's a huge distinguishable difference from uh, retail to hobby as far as Allen and Ginter. I'm searching for one thing and one thing specifically today. Uh, I'm searching for rip cards because you cannot get the rip cards that everybody knows and loves in Allen and Ginter that have the high value. You can't get those in retail. Um, some people think you can, but I can tell you you can't. Um, and they don't even have the odds for those on the boxes because you can't get them uh, in anything retail. Um, you, they are hobby only. So I've decided to take the splurge this year and go ahead and pick up one of these Allen and Ginter 2020 hobby boxes that we're going to break today, guys. Uh, the background cards, real quick, I broke a lot of this Allen & Ginter retail so far, um, both on camera and off camera, just for myself and personal breaks. Um, and these are some of the cards I've pulled this year so far. I've had, I have had some luck with autographs, which those are not the easiest out of retail, but I've had some luck, obviously. i got these three that I have on display today. Uh, so left to right, uh, we got the Jordan Yamamoto Mini Rookie. Those are all on-card signatures, obviously. Um, as well, and actually on the right side, we got a Bobby Bradley uh, rookie card, uh, autograph mini. And then center stage, that's uh, Ryan Nyquist, uh, BMX rider, I believe. Um, and those are actually, when they're not baseball players, those are the hardest pulls um, as far as autographs go in here. It's it's something like you know four times the odds or something like that of, of pulling. It's four times as hard to pull somebody that's non-baseball uh, as far as an autograph as it is in somebody that's in baseball. Which is weird, considering it's a baseball product, and most people are in this for the baseball players, but uh, it is what it is. Um, a lot of people don't like this stuff, as we'll get into this and tear this open. A lot of people don't like it because you get these oddball cards. Um, you get a lot of cards that are, um, you know, non-baseball players and stuff. You get celebrities, reality stars, you know, different sports, you know, a little bit of different sports, not so much. But uh, you get that kind of stuff, uh, and then you get a whole lot of mini cards. You can get cards of, you know... I don't even know, like, what is it this year? They have some of the things that are like, uh, what lies beneath, uh, creatures below, you know, you can get pictures of dogs down on the farm, I think is one of the subsets this year, you know, just all kinds of oddball things that most people don't like. Um, but I will say the one mini set I love this uh, year is the Where Monsters Live. Really cool. I'm sure we're going to come across some of those in this box, um, but it's really, really cool. I'm going to show you guys some of the odds here on this box, and let's just get into the break. I see it's very small there at the bottom, but uh, odds... Per box of finding, that's kind of weird that they only have those really, really uh, listed there. Um, but there you go with that. Do they not have? Wow, well, they really don't have any other odds listed on this box. That's kind of strange. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at one of the packs to show you the odds. They should be on the packs. I know there's a lot more odds than that. Um, but yeah, let's just get into this, guys. This will be my first ever hobby box of this, believe it or not. And I still have quite a bit of. Uh, an oversized box loader card inside. Now, what did that just say on the back? Sorry, guys. Just bear with me for one second. I'm not trying to drag this out. But I swore I just saw that you maybe didn't get one. Uh, box loader rip card. This and that. Oh, box loaders. Okay. So those... Looks like those odds are only based on box loaders. So that's the difference, I guess. Um, so that's interesting. So we'll check out that box loader maybe at the end here. I'm going to save that. save that for the end. Um, and let's bust this over here where I don't knock the camera over for you guys. Uh, come on. Try and set up a little display like they would in a hobby shop with the, with the box. Display this on the back of the camera here for you guys. All right. So here we go. Uh, yeah, let's get into this and see what we get. Uh, we're looking for autos and all that stuff like that. But like I said, I'm looking for the rip cards. Solely the rip cards because I've never pulled one of those for myself, and I'd really love to to pull one of those. And I I will tell you guys I will rip it. <laughs> I promise you I will, will rip it right on camera, um, and hope for the best. But uh, I'm probably gonna fly through most of these. I'm not gonna look for the short prints and stuff like that on here. Uh, wow, boom! Right off the bat, <laughs> Chris Paddock. Boy, did that sneak up on me! Right off the bat, pack number one, we got an auto. Chris Paddock, uh, mini. Uh, and then, of course, the building behind these are the skyscrapers. I think the Wilshire Grand Center. Uh, Reach for the Sky. That's the name of those subsets. 
But, oh, and there's our mini. You get a mini per pack. And that is going to be a Ricky Henderson mini. Uh, but there's the back of that Chris Paddock. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, I know that we're, I think, guaranteed... Shoot, I don't know. Is it one auto or two autos per box or something like that? So, I mean, that's not entirely unexpected. Um, let's see what we get. Hopefully, we don't get all the... Holy heck, we got another auto right there already in pack two. I'm saving this because I don't want to get all the hits out of the way right off the bat. Jeez. Top two packs, very <laughs> first two packs are freaking autos. Um, yeah, and I don't want to do that right off the bat and then just wind up opening probably nothing but base or something like that. No, my luck. Uh, and the rest of this box. Uh, let's see what we get. And maybe a karate star there. Kokume. Kokumai. There you go. Uh, huh. So I'll just stack these up because I think I'm going to sort these cards after. I'm not going to worry about trying to sort them while we're making this video for you guys. We don't want these digging deep. And I'll actually, on the next pack, I'll show you guys the odds on the back of the pack. I forgot to show you that. Ken Griffey Jr., Martinez, Chuck Peterson, Ralph Kiner. We got a mini of Citadels and Safe Holds, and then digging deep with some gold. And the weird thing is you can actually get some relics of like the digging deep stuff. You can get like an actual, you know, a piece of gold or something like that uh, as an insert card. Um, different things like that. And I've actually never got one of those either. That'd be cool to pull one of those. Um, but, uh, and you can actually get weird things like buttons and stuff in here, if I recall. And actually, that's right, guys. I was going to tell you. I told you I'd show you the odds, and I will. If you guys want to pause it and check it out, be my guest. There are the odds. All right. So... Right back into this. Let's see what the heck we get. Uh, and again, I'm not going to slow down and, and check for short print. Short print so I can check out after. They do a different mess of ways to uh, do the short prints. Nick Solak, rookie there uh, with that debut to remember. Uh, but they do, you know, Brooklyn backs and just, I don't know, all kinds of different stuff. I can't even remember them all off the top of my head. Uh, but most of the stuff you have to check on the back of the card. And like I said, I'm not going to flip these all over. On camera, because that's just going to take twice as long with the video, and I don't want to drag this out for you guys. If I get something cool, I promise I'll display it in a future video that, you know, was maybe a radical back that I didn't notice. Uh, Cecil Fielder there, and you got Tanzanite for that last card. I don't think we need to really feature that too much. Like I said, I, you know, a lot of people just hate this. I, I, I don't hate this product. I like it. I like the feel of the cards, too. The card stock's awesome. Um, but the cards don't hold tremendous value. There's R.L. Stein, say Abreu, Xander Bogarts, and then our mini. It's going to be Craig Biggio. And then we got a down on the farm. There you go. Picture of a rooster. <laughs> so, like I said, you can, uh, a lot of people get mad with those kind of oddball cards like that, but they don't bother me as much. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of them, but some of them I am. Like I said, I'm sure we'll come across some of these Where Monsters Lives mini uh, inserts in some of these packs, and I do love that subset this year, and I think a lot of people do from what I've seen. Nice Nico Horner rookie, uh, followed by Brandon McKay rookie, um, but they're really cool looking, and there's one. There's our first one, and that is exactly what I'm talking about, so there's the Will's Tower, but uh, there you go. Where Monsters Live uh, in a Cave is this one, and you can see those little eyes there. Uh, these, I've been told, I haven't really checked it out, but they glow in the dark, I guess, as well, so that's a pretty cool thing. You can see those eyes, like, pop off the cardboard and stuff but those are those are actually pretty cool i i do like that subset this year and i know a lot of people actually do seem to like that subset so that's cool um let's see what we got i think i have the whole set by now that where monsters live um because i was actually trying to get that set uh -huh. Lou kane say no another down the farm we got a dog air and uh it's always so, I mean, the rookies are, they're nice to pull, but honestly, you'd be amazed. It's actually hard to pull from what I've seen in videos, too, of the Luis Robert rookie card. It's actually kind of hard to pull in here. Uh, <laughs> okay, I make myself look like an idiot, of course, when I say that, but <laughs> there we go. Uh, there's our best rookie card. Uh, obviously, we can pull out of here, I'd say. So, we'll set that aside and sleeve that up, but... Uh, yeah, believe it or not, even though I just pulled it, and there's a nice black border, uh, Lou Gehrig. Uh, nice black border, Lou Gehrig. And Joe Girardi, Field General's card. Uh, yeah, like I was trying to say the Luis Robert before I 
course, pulled it right on cue. Um, it's actually harder to pull in here. I've, I've noticed a lot of people have opened a lot of this product, and they've not been able to pull one. Um, early on, I've opened a lot of this, like I said, both on and off camera for myself this year, all retail. Um, and early on, I opened a lot of it, and I did not get uh, not even one um, uh, Luis Robert rookie card. And I'm starting to get really frustrated uh, with it because... You know, I'm like, holy crap, you know, I got everybody else. I pulled all the other rookies. They were no problem to find. But I was really getting frustrated on pulling the, Lu the Luis Robert. And then I got on a run. Uh, I don't know how. But the baseball guys were with me for a little bit. Uh, and I think I pulled uh, four or five Luis Roberts uh, almost consecutively out of retail. Um, so I got all those. You know, so this is nothing new for me to pull his his card, um, but trust me, they are a little bit harder to pull, and I've actually, that's a interesting looking at Safari sites, I thought it was a different one, but no, that's, that's a, that is a normal one, uh, at least normal for this set, I've just not pulled many of those Safari sites out of these uh, packs to date this year, like I said guys, you know what I'm all about here, I really want to pull, there's a nice Mike Trout we're going to end with, I really, really want to pull a, um, a rip card. I want the rip card bad. I've never pulled one of those. Never done one of them. Um, I mean, they're they're tough though. You know, there's there's absolutely no guarantee by a long shot that we're gonna have one in here. And there's a nice long ball war of Mike Trout and Roger um, Clemens mini card there. Uh, I think you get, you know, you can get. You're not gonna get more than one rip card per box. Um, and I I think if I'm correct, the like case odds, I think you get two rip cards per case. Um, so it's a lot of boxes you're talking about. So your your odds are not that great to, to pull a rip card to begin with out of your box. But uh, I thought I'd take a chance with just one of these. Like I said, I'm probably not going to buy any more or take a chance to get this crack the code. I actually was so confused when I pulled it the first few times, but uh, it's just kind of an advertisement. Uh, and there you go. And then you got a tractor. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, I'm probably not going to buy more of this because I've just done so much retail. And, you know, if you don't pull the ripcord or anything insane like that, the, the value is just not there. You know, these are they're over $100 a box. Um, and, you know, I don't know. Even the rookies, like I said, don't carry very high value. There we go. Nice Xander Bogarts uh, relic card there. That's cool. Didn't even see that coming. Set that aside. We got a Shohei Otani mini and a Don the Farm with the Farmer himself. Uh, set that there, set these here. I think we might get another mem card. I think you get something like, let's see. Looking at this right now, and actually, you know what? There's your answer. So, any three of these cards are going to be in this box on average. Uh, autograph cards, relic cards, rip cards, printing plates, and book cards. So, we already pulled an auto and we pulled a relic. And it looks like, from what I saw in that pack that's kind of setting aside over here to the right... Uh, that was pack number two. I think it's just another auto, but if that's the case, and there's, you know, I don't know if you can get more than this or not, uh, but and I haven't seen breaks really where I've added up the odds in my head if, you know, people have pulled more than the three uh, per box, but uh, there you go. Um, based on that, I'm going to say we're not going to get a rip card then, um, or, you know, want a printing plate or book cards or anything like that. Uh, so I think it's going to be an auto. Or maybe it's a framed kind of like button or something like that. I don't know. Uh, that would be cool if that was the case. And that black mini uh, dropped out there as we were going through that of this non-baseball player, which is an actor and comedian, Nick Thune. So I'm sure that has high value to that mini card. Uh, that's a joke, obviously. Cal Tucker, Cosmer, Alfaro, Willie McCovey. Williams and Buster Posey. And actually, I think we can empty out this box. I feel like we can empty this and we'll keep a little closer tabs on exactly where we're at pack-wise here. All right, these are all our remaining packs out of that box, with the exception of that bo uh, pack that we set on the side. It looks to be an auto kind of frame card that we pulled in pack number two. All right, Cabin Biggio, Barry Larkin, Alex Verdugo. I think it's Steve Barron or something. Is his name? Yeah, actor and comedian Steve Barron. Martinez, 
Rains. And we good. That's nice. Nice. Uh, so there's a Doc Gooden there on the back. But Black Border Mini Hank Aaron. That probably has some value to that. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's a that's a nice card. I like that one for sure. Do not have that one. Uh, let's see what we have here as we get into our final half dozen or so packs. Uh, uh, Starring Marte. I'm ready to say Cattell. Reese Hoskins. Carter Keyboom. Capor Glaber Day. Jose Canseco. We got a mini. Well, here's a Joe Maher filled Generals. And then the mini is uh, Jan Mancata. All right. Next up. Let's see what we have here. All right, Paul De Young, Paul Mahler, uh, my, my boy, the Polar Bear, Pete Alonzo, love it. Willer, Johnny Bananas, <laughs> Cattell Marte, uh, Randy Johnson Mini, and then we got a long ball war of uh, Bryce Harper there. I don't think we need to spend much time on that. Uh, four packs left, and then we'll reveal what our last hit is, and we'll do that, uh, that box topper card and see what's what there. All right, Anthony Rizzo, Andy Pettit. Uh, Ken, Wong, uh, Pretty Girl Hanson, <laughs> Mike Soroka, nice Ernie Banks mini, and then uh, we got the Lock to Center for that one there. All right. I'm digging deep. Looks like we got some turquoise we're going to end this one with. Luis Gonzalez, oh my God, uh, Baseball Brit, Ricky Henderson, Charlie Blackman, Jenkins, and then we got uh, a Sword Drain. Have that one obviously already, but that is cool. A sword drain. Yep. Uh, featured prominently in the movie It. And then there's our turquoise. I think it would have been creepier if they attached a red balloon to that sword drain picture, but uh, it is what it is. Patrick Corbin, Anthony K, Injin Ru, our Vogelbach, Shane Bieber, uh, Rafi Devers. We got a, well, let's see, this long ball war. Uh, Ted Williams, and then we got the mini of Garcia Parra. So there you go. The last pack, and then we're going to do our last two kind of unveils. See what we have. I'm actually surprised we haven't pulled any of the other big rookies out of here. Because uh, we got a nice Tatis Jr. start off. But I don't think we pulled, unless I missed it flying through, no Kyle Lewis, no Gavin Lux, no Bo Bichette, no Jordan Alvarez. Um, and I have pulled them all out of here. Just not out of this box. Albert Pools, Hunter Pence, Ian Snell, The Babe, Erstead, a mini, Bauer, and Stripling for a debut, remember? So, hmm. none of the other big rookies. I mean, I'll take that. At least we got the uh, Luis Robert rookie. That is uh, the rookie of all rookies, if you had to pick one to want to pull out of here. All right, let's bring this back on to camera here. See what we get in this uh last pack per se and drop these off so that we end with that card actually so our final mini card that we're going to deal with here uh Raul Mondesi and we got a long ball lure Albert Pujols if you didn't see that I'm gonna throw that over here all right we got Nolan Ryan to start us off uh Ken Young I remember him mainly from uh uh the hangover movies Schmidt, and then is this the card? No, one more card. Max Friedman, and here we go. It is Alan and Ginter. Vera. Oh, man, I got so excited. I thought it was autographed, guys. That would have been just insane. It's a relic of Mariano Rivera. If that was autographed, that would have really, really made this box. But uh, interesting. So it's a mini relic. Definitely not what I expected to pull out of there. It's a mini relic. Mariano Rivera. So there you go. Uh, now let's do this box topper card and see what's what here. And I'll recap the, kind of the bigger hits that I've set aside, which are not a ton of these. Uh, not intended for individual sale. Yep. Well, there you go. So well, let's see what we have inside here. Not sure what to expect. This is my first one of these I've opened. So for a big name or something cool. Is that Boba Bichette? It is. We got a Boba Bichette, boys. Wow, look at that. Bo Bichette. Very nice. Now I'll take that. Yeah, I will take that. A Bo Bichette. If that was autographed, that would be insane. But we got the Bo Bichette box topper rookie. Very, very nice. 
I like that a lot. You guys can check out the back of that. Very nice. It is the cabinet box loader. Interesting. Cabinet box loader. I've not, not heard of that. I'm actually very quickly, guys. I know you guys might be curious, just like me. I'm going to pull up the original hobby box. I want to see those odds one more time with these box uh, loaders or box toppers. See if there's anything wild here. So, let's see. Box loader, Safari Sites, N43, box loader. Okay, so I don't see that in any of their... I didn't know if that was like some kind of crazy variation or something. Because I've literally... I, I've not done my research on these box toppers or box loaders. I don't know much about these at all. But that, I do know that's a good name. And that is a nice rookie to pull. Boba Shet, uh box topper. So that's, that's a very nice pull. Let's recap the other cards. The only base one I'm really going to show you guys is that nice Luis Robert rookie card. That's obviously good. We got our, our three kind of hits, if you will. I guess we got the Xander Bogarts uh, jersey card. And speaking of jersey cards, we got the framed mini jersey card of uh, Mariano Rivera, which, boy, do I wish that was autographed. And then the autograph that we pulled from this box, the, uh, the mini auto on card of Chris Paddock. So not too bad. Honestly, not a bad box. Uh, these are fun. Like I said, but I, I probably won't buy any more hobby of this because I just have so much of this base. It's unbelievable. And, you know, if I want a specific card, I'm probably better off just buying that card. But, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the break as much as I did. Please leave a like, subscribe, share. Click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys for sure. Um, as always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address as well as a mailing address if you guys ever need to reach out to me or send me anything. Uh, other than that, though, have a great day, great night, wherever you guys are at. And we will see you guys next time.